Hmm, interesting. Hello guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well out there. Today we're going to be flirting with food poisoning and looking at some of the worst cooks on the internet. First up on today's menu, we have the sweetest old man cooking some super healthy brown rice. Hello food fans, we're going to show you today the correct way to make rice, to cook rice. And what I'm going to use is long grain brown rice. And it has uh, a substantial amount of nutrients in it. It has finished cooking. I'm going to remove the lid here and stir it. And I shall drain it. And after I drain it, I'm going to put it into my little bowl, which is a whipped topping container. And I will cover it with something. Okay, so we have some cooked brown rice. Place your bets what you think is going to cover it with. And the rice is now covered with milk. And the first one is sugar. I'm going to put some sugar on it. But not just sugar. I'm actually using powdered sugar. You can use regular um, sugar, but I'm using powdered sugar because it is uh, more fun, I think. Just a little bit on there. Some chocolate chips. Spoon down here. Sprinkle on a few little chocolate chips there. They want to go on. And some marshmallows, of course. Little marshmallows. Just a few little marshmallows here and there. You sprinkle some of these cake sweeteners for the birthday cakes. Some of that on there. How is this old man still alive if this is what he eats? Looks like Willy Wonka vomited in a bowl and sprinkled a tiny bit of brown rice on top. Are we done? No. The whipped topping which provided us with the bowl that we're using here. So we put some whipped topping on that. Just a little bit. Oh, I'll just pour a little bit on here if I can get this cap open. And you put that on there. Doesn't hurt anything. And we shall give it the taste test. Right now be sure we get some rice. Mm-hmm. I want more. So we've seen how he likes to eat brown rice. Like a four-year-old child who's been let loose in the kitchen for the first time. Let's see how he makes a grilled cheese. Here is what we will use to begin our deluxe sandwich. In the pan I have a couple of slices of whole wheat bread and a generous amount of vegetable oil is in that pan. And I might even add some more vegetable oil. This will be high in calories. And I'm going to place a slice of cheese on the bread right here. And there we have the egg on top of the cheese. I'm going to add the bacon next, and what I'm going to do is break the bacon up into little bits. And this side of the bread should be pretty well cooked. And what I will do is hold the pan that way, and very, very carefully. There's one bacon bit came out, but that's not too bad. A little coating of flour. And when I turn this back over after the other side gets brown, then I will brown the flour that is on top of this uh, side of the grilled cheese sandwich. We will flip the other side and a lot of the flour will fall off but it will land right in the pan and I'll place the bread sandwich here right on top of it. So here we go. We're going to do our flip. Flip. There is the sandwich in the pan. His videos start off kind of normal and then by the end you have burnt flour in a pan with some cheese or a bowl full of diabetes. Next let's see a man doing something very strange with an egg. Look out y'all. How many of y'all ever had a chicken fried egg for breakfast? I'm going to show you how. Let's do it. Crack your egg. Put it in the oil like you're going to fry it regular. Wait till you see the inside. Is 
that tip just a little bit. Pick it up, set it out here in the seasoned flour. Roll it around. A good coat of flour on it, and we go back in here to this grease with it. Get ready to flip her over. There we go. Chicken fried eggs. All right, now that's done. Drain the grease off of it and set it over here on a paper towel. All right, y'all ready to look at it? See what we got? My chicken fried egg. Just break her out apart. Look in there. Fried egg. Chicken fried. I like to put some of this zippy zap on mine. You could use white gravy, country gravy. Some good stuff. Look at that. Mm -hmm. But you hadn't had that one before. I think that's the first time I've ever seen someone rip an egg apart. Wanna well, give me some of that zippy zap? Give me some of that zippy zap. Zippy zippy zap. Break her out apart. Look in there. Next up, we have a bean salad. When I say the words bean salad, what do you picture in your mind? Something like this? Or maybe this? Well, let's take a look at how Jack makes a bean salad. And we're gonna get started on that right now. Take the beans, dump them in the bowl, take those onions, put them right in there. I do heaping tablespoons. You're gonna do, you're gonna start with two. Two heaping tablespoons. And you're gonna mix it in. You're gonna take a look at it and see. So take a look at that. A recipe whose beauty is only surpassed by its simplicity. Just a tin of beans, an onion, and all of the mayonnaise. You could probably just trim out the other two ingredients and just keep the mayonnaise and it would still taste the same. I would like to point out that this man has his own range of barbecue sauce. Main ingredient, I would guess, mayonnaise. The sauce is probably just mayonnaise with brown food colouring inside it. Next up, we have an exquisite dish inspired by something called a pizza burger. The most American food I think I've ever heard of. Greetings guys, it's the show, it's the show, the show, the show, another episode of the Asshole Cooking Show, it is the show, and today we're going to do, uh, this is going to be like a, similar to the pizza burger you used to have in the school lunches back when you were in school, this is what this ended up tasting like when, but I'm going to show you with new, one hand now, I'm going to just pulverize these really good. I'm going to just... We're going to cut up this brick of cheese. I took it out of the box here. This is like a generic Velveeta. All right. We're going to give this another few minutes. Some of this is still raw here, but just checking on it. Pour all this shit in here. I'm going to do this off camera a little bit better, but... You do this in a bowl with both hands like you're making your meatloaf, but we're going to mix this all up. I'm a little doing a little bit more onion powder than the garlic powder, but... Screw it. There's not... It's a small jar anyway. Oh yeah, make sure you lubricate your pan too. The object of the game here, we're going to line the whole thing, you know, kind of distribute all over the top evenly because they're going to melt over top and if they're too thick, you know what I mean? Look at that. Turned out so nice. Turned out pretty nice. I love how he says it turned out so nice, then looks at it and changes his mind. Turned out so nice. Turned out pretty nice. Splat. Ah. That ends this episode. Um, and um, stay tuned for a new episode. And. Thank you for watching the show, the show, the show, the asshole cooking show. Thank you for watching the show. The show. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then watch this one about other bad cooks and bye-bye. Pour all this shit in here.